Hi folks, well I've started the sluice build. Um, what I've done is built a plug to um, fiberglass. Now if any of you've got a lot of experience or any experience in doing fiberglass moulding, comments and tips are always welcome. But yeah, I've done a plug. There's a few clips here of how far I am and how, how I've got on with it so far and how it actually looks. So uh, I'll get on with it. It's nice to be nice. So guys, I'm going to try and get on with this sluice, what I said I was going to build. Now, <laughs> I was playing about with some ideas this morning. I was going to do a wire mesh frame and fiberglass onto that. Now, that size it worked out alright, but when I was trying to do it on a bigger scale, it was quite difficult to bend and I uh, bent it too much and then tried to pull it out, constantined it and split it, so I'm not going to do with that. I'm going to build a mould, so basically I can fiberglass it and the fiberglass that comes out of it is the actual sluice not like build fiberglass mould a plug and all that lot so this will be me plug so to speak that'll be my riffle pattern i've been looking at that angus mac kirk and they've got some nice dips in there and a squared off edge there i don't know whether i can fabricate that i'm gonna have a play with that because I quite like the idea but what I'm also going to do is put like a, a piece in at the beginning and a slick plate where I can drop a piece of uh, miner's moss in it and then my riffle pattern and uh, what I'm first going to do is stick that to a piece of this and make a template so I can copy it I've got to do it in reverse, <laughs> so to speak, upside down. So what I'll do is I'll uh, tape them together with top carpet tape and then cut it out on a bandsaw. Could be done with a jigsaw, but I've got a bandsaw. I think it'll probably be easier with a bandsaw. If not, I will revert to the jigsaw. Right, that's that. I've also got to design my slick plate onto this and the bit where I'm going to run my um, miner's moss in. So what I'll do now is I'll stick this together with some pieces of uh, carpet tape, double sided, lay it out and uh, finish drawing actual design. Again what I'm going to do is I'm making it so that it'll have a high pressure and low pressure so that sort of thing so it'll come in cause an high pressure point here and a low pressure point here so it drops off and hopefully should catch all fine stuff as it comes through so I've marked that out and I've just stuck this on my hot glue, just to, I'm just testing now, I've got to find right length to cut my strips and that will be my mould and I've got to fiberglass the outside so that then the inside comes out nice so the inside doesn't matter as much but I've got to sort of build it from inside out and then build it over and flip it over after neaten these up and uh, wax it and fiberglass it this is the plan that's that cut out so like I said that now what I've got to do is define where my flare is going to be and where it's going to flare out here and where it's going to flare out here or in there and out there they're sort of the next pieces I'm going to cut I think and put them in and I've got to build it like that from outside um, I've also got to put some sort of plate to take the shape that might be the way to go, thinking. 
So, that's my basic frame. Now, I would cut all these out and lay them in um, and put some more strengtheners in here on the inside just to sort of keep it square because I'm going to have to flip it at some point and I'll be all gluing it all together but basically I'm going to do this section first because that's pretty much square and I'll have a plate up here which will be my, slack, my slip plate <laughs> I did look at it and when you look at it like that you think oh my god I've cut them the wrong way and I did have one of them moments <laughs> but what we've got to remember is when it's flipped it's the other way and that is a negative I'm putting a positive on this side so <laughs> he says hey, hopefully it will turn out all right so guys that's where I am now Sunday Sunday morning now I uh I was working on it last night until about six o'clock, but I've come back and finished it this morning, or fit in, finished cutting. I've got to stick it all together now with our glue gun. But basically, that's going to be inside. That'll be bottom, it's reversed, if you know what I mean. And I was looking at that Matt Kirk thing, as I said before, and I've managed to get this so that I can put wells in it. There's a well there. And a well here so it's got like four riffles I'm also now contemplating just putting a few strips across because that again will create another well potentially to catch the gold and the heavies uh, I'll glue it together incidentally I said this is just three millimeter MDF now I've seen I'm, I'm not going to put um, a gel coat on this for for actual finish because I'm not bothered about having a really really smooth finish because smooth doesn't catch gold as well as rough I've got to think of a way to colour the uh, the uh, resin uh, I'm not sure on that yet as I mentioned before I've got some of this shade cloth now can get this in in black I don't know how clear it'll go and it's wet up with resin but I can get it in black if I put I'm thinking if I put a couple of coats of that on first providing it don't melt with resin then I'll get a black sluice because I want I don't want it like just resin coloured uh, I've got to take all bits of glue off round all edges up and sand it file it whatever to get it down to a finish that that looks all right so that it'll release you know what i mean uh, if anybody any of you've got any advice on on uh fiberglassing i'm sure some of you guys out there might have done quite a bit of fiberglassing <laughs> then uh much appreciated i'm thinking about i've got some core body filler to do any filling what i need to do any bits and pieces and and then I'm thinking about PVA glue coating it and then waxing it let's get it to release I hope the mold is not just a one-off thing it can it can hold another I can do another sluice area if I needed to and I'm thinking about the inside which is hollow the other side filling it with expanding foam but I don't know yet but I'm gonna get it glued together and I'll show you when it's glued and I'll flip it over and show you what, what I'm doing I've got to make some t some L sections to fix these so that these are nice and sturdy and get them back to actual shape because this is only duct taped together so guys I've flipped it over just run some more glue up along here 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 along here just basically to strengthen it up now I'm going to build some brackets all the way along because like I say this is underside although riffles are running the right way now <laughs> so I've got it right at least uh, all I'm going to do is cut some L sections I'll make them all the same size so it's basically like it stands up I've got some more some more bits of work to do on the other side and uh, I'll do that and I'll flip it over again and show you what I mean so guys that's that I've put some extra 
drops in here. Uh, some of these are different sizes. Special, very special reason for that is they were just soft cuts that were a different size. <laughs> so I shouldn't think it'll make much difference. Just a different size trap. Uh, what I've got to do now is really attack it now with using files knives. I've got to get all this glue off the outside. Make edges nice. And then I'll have to fill these. But I'll get the MDF down to what I want it first before I do anything else. And I'll say I'm thinking about using carbon body filler, which is probably the best bet. But I've seen a guy use some um, household plaster. But if I use plaster, I've got to seal it first with P uh, PVA, then seal the plaster again with PVA. I've strengthened up the other side up. Luckily, uh, the only thing that's inexpensive here is uh, <laughs> the glue for the glue gun. So I've got plenty on. So that's nice and sturdy. Like I said, I'm thinking if I foam that up with foam, obviously it's not closed so it won't expand and pop it to pieces. It'll expand out that way. If I filled it with foam, I might be able to get more than one cast off it, which would be nice. So, off to the man cave, I'm going to, uh, I'll upload this now, and then, see there's lots of filling to do, I'll upload this now, and uh, what I'll do is I'll take my files and my knife, and I'll try and cut all this glue off, it's not really good there, I'll try and cut all this glue off, and uh, get to that point, hopefully I'll be able to do the uh, the mould next week, hopefully. End of part one.